Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'll get into Taurus's energy and then get into the energy of all 12 signs. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance, or Taurus, please. Okay, Taurus is coming in strong. Taurus is manifesting. What are they manifesting? One more card, please. Oh, they're manifesting emotional communication or they're manifesting a love offer. So good for them. So, okay, let's get into the energy of all 12 signs around Taurus, starting with Aries. You're dealing with an Aries. Um, I feel like there's a new beginning with a soulmate, a new beginning of love and abundance with a soulmate. If you're dealing with a Taurus, another Taurus, someone wants to speak the truth to the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they're trying to get some kind of clarity, it has to do with looking back at the past, wanting some clarity. If you're dealing with a Cancer, somebody's very trapped in their head um, about a decision. If you're dealing with a Leo, Leo is... Um, this is a great, if you're dealing with a Leo, this is a foundation, a celebration. So the 1111, a family situation. So you have a relationship that fills all 10 of your cups if you're dealing with a, Le um, a Leo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, someone's, mm, you have a player who's playing mind games right here. That's what this is. Somebody who's trying to win. They don't care who they hurt. They just kind of manipulate people. They're in and out. So if you're dealing with a Libra, Libra is trapped in their head about a relationship. Taurus energy, something traditional with that hair font. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio is trying to block somebody or, or stand their ground with a Queen of Wands. So they may be... Um, Scorpio may be blocking a Queen of Wands or standing their ground with one. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, somebody is trying to work on a victory. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody's brokenhearted over a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, somebody wants to reconcile and have a new beginning in love. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces, um, there's a tower moment around the pre-empress moving on. So someone's having a tower moment because the pre-empress has moved on. So let's get into this energy for Taurus. Taurus, I feel like you're manifesting this emotional communication or a love offer. Um, whatever this is, you're manifesting this. So let's get into this and find out what's going on for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Give me some clarity and guidance for Taurus, please. So there's a lot of forward movement and communication. Um, somebody's talking about how much they love somebody or they there's communication about wanting to be with somebody and some kind of deceptions being blocked. By a king of cups, queen of wands. So are you dealing with, are you dealing with a Scorpio by any chance? Because their energy was that they were trying to block, they were trying to block a queen of wands energy. So I feel like whatever this is, there's a third party tower moment here. And there's an offer or an apology. And somebody not speaking, someone's apologizing for not speaking, wanting justice, or some kind of betrayal. Okay. Someone's speaking the truth because they're looked at it from a different perspective. They're, they're looking at things with a different mindset, right? Has to do with a new beginning. They're looking back at past mistakes, and they have regret. This is pretty cut and dry, needing strength. This is a pretty... Again, manifesting, right? So, Taurus, you communicating that you love somebody, that you want to be with somebody. A lot of back and forth communication. 
but there's some kind of deception, lying, cheating, stealing, and someone standing their ground or blocking a king of king of cups, queen of wands. So I feel like you're trying to block somebody else's drama, but you feel like a third wheel in a situation and it's causing you a tower moment. You're apologizing for not speaking to somebody and you want justice for some kind of betrayal. Who's, who's communicating? You're communicating that you want to move forward and take a leap of faith. You want to be with somebody from the past. You're offering your cup to somebody from the past. What's this deception about? What's this deception about? So the deception, somebody's lying. They're standing their ground or they're blocking some kind of deception. They're lying about a new beginning. New beginning, moving forward, but there was deception and somebody standing their ground or blocking somebody. So was someone trying to block you from moving forward? Because this is a new beginning moving forward, but the deception about a new beginning and someone trying to block you from moving forward? Somebody's trying to stop you from moving towards somebody. You have a king of cups, but someone's mastering their emotions to heal, and a queen of wands moving on. So I feel like someone may have regrets about a third party. And there's a tower moment. They're manifesting a tower moment. They want to apologize or offer a family situation. But I feel like they're apologizing for not speaking to you and blocking you. This may You may have had a family with this person. Now, I want to go back over here for a minute. So I feel like with this, there's communication about moving forward. And offering this cup to somebody from the past. Offering the cup to somebody from the past. So are they lying or is the offer that they're giving you a lie? Are they lying about wanting a new beginning? And, and they're standing their ground or blocking you from moving forward? It's, so is somebody telling you that I want to have something with you, but it's just to keep you from moving on? but they really don't want it. it it's this person's trying to heal they want it there there's hope here they're mastering their emotions to try to heal a situation but they're really not keeping anybody from leaving right you have a queen of wands here that's that that's moving forward and now they're having some regrets they may have had a third party situation possibly and it's manifesting a tower. There could have been an offer of a family situation like let's get married. You know, offering something in a family situation. Um, but somebody's kind of blocking somebody and not speaking. They're holding on to have justice. But there was betrayal. Divine timings at play. Something faded with the Queen of Wands. They're not going to let you go if you're you're dealing with the Aries Leo or Sag. Um, it was the energy of a, of Scorpio, but I I honestly feel like you're dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sag um, Taurus, and and I feel like you're only telling somebody something. Um, I almost feel like you're proposing for something because this is the big coin for you to offer. And, and there's that coin again, and it, it's in a family situation. Like, you, did you, did you tell somebody let's get married? Let's, let's move this forward just to keep somebody from walking away from blocking you and, and moving on. Because I still feel like you didn't speak to somebody and somebody's blocked you. I feel like the two of you, if someone's speaking the truth. Looking at something differently, and, and this is about this, this new offer. It's about this offer. So you may be wanting to speak the truth because you understand something differently now, and, and you really do want the offer because you're looking back at your past regrets needing strength. This is something that's meant to be. Whatever the betrayal was, this person's feeling betrayed, but your fate, your destiny 
is with the queen of, of wands here. So whatever this is, you're meant to be with this queen of wands. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's a reconciliation here and somebody's going to get justice. Okay. They're reconciling justice and, and trying to heal. This could be two things though. Now with the truth being spoken and somebody is looking at something from a different perspective about a new beginning, they want to reconcile and have justice. Now in, in, in most cases, if that four swords wasn't there, justice and uh, judgment and justice for me would be a divorce. But with that, with that wanting to reconcile and have justice to heal a situation, I feel like somebody may have said, let's do this. And then they were just trying to keep somebody from moving on. Right. And then they ended up seeing it differently. Like, wow, I, I screwed up because you really did have strong feelings for this Aries Leo Sag. Right. And sometimes we don't want something until it's gone. And then we realize how much that person meant to you. Right. So I feel like that's what this is. And you're looking back on past mistakes and having some regrets, right? Because you love this person and you want to be with this person. But you lied. You lied. And now you had to watch something and it became full circle for you, right? Something had to end so something new can begin. And now you're stuck needing strength, looking at the past again and having to wait, having to wait for this relationship. Taurus, there's an offer here. There's an offer on the table. And I feel like this is going to take this commitment to a higher level of commitment. But I feel like you being wishy-washy and thinking, well, if I, if I, you know, this is almost like, can I shut her up if I offer her this? Because you didn't have the intention of it actually working out. And then when you lost her, and I'm saying this in a masculine energy, you could be a masculine or a feminine. If whoever did this, did this to take some kind of control to keep somebody, block somebody from moving on, you're trying to block somebody from moving forward or moving on. I feel like, I feel like your person, I just had a card fall. The star just fell. Okay. So your person is, I feel like in, in this case, whoever you were dealing with was telling you that it's time to move this forward. I'm not going to continue to be your girlfriend. I'm not going to, to play this anymore. You're either going to make things right with me and make us a family or I'm out the door. And so you're saying, okay, here's my cup. I'm going to offer you this. And, but then you really didn't mean it. And then this person said enough's enough and they left. And then you're like, oh no, okay. I really do love this person. And it's time for me to do the right thing by them because they do deserve better than that. So letting go of what doesn't serve you. Purging the third parties. You have a family situation, which is a soulmate right in front of you. Answer is no. The answer is yes. See, this is what... It, the, you cannot make this up, okay? You cannot make this up. You're purging the third parties because of a family situation with a soulmate. Yes or no? Yes or no? What is it? Are you going to move forward and do the right thing? Or are you going to be wishy-washy going back and forth? Yes or no? I feel like that's the, what she's saying to you. Or she, I'm saying it in feminine energy. There's no, there's no, um, there's no sex in um, tarot. But what I'm feeling like is this a feminine energy saying to a masculine what is it going to be? Yes or no? Are we going to continue this around? Are we going to go around the mountain again? Are we going to go forward, right? Retreat. Somebody said enough's enough, right? Somebody's longing for you now. They're secretly yearning for you because you've let other people come in and interfere in this situation. So now you had to take your time about it. That's why they're saying you had to wait for the relationship again, right? Because you tried to keep somebody from leaving by offering them something you really didn't want to do. And then the minute that they figured out that you were just pulling their leg, they said enough's enough. And then, but, but I almost feel like there is a third party because it has interference here and in purging the third party. So whatever this is, 
you kept this person at a distance for a long time and they deserved better than that. And I feel like now you're regretting it and now you're having to wait for them to allow you to back in if they're going to. So closure and good luck. Spirit guides are with you. You're being guided, lightening the load. You're letting go of everything that doesn't serve you for your happiness. You're purging the third parties. You're getting rid of it. You finally decided that I know where my heart lies and I need to do something about it. So Taurus, that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.